Hey everyone, Ronan back. We are now at the final episode of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Um, as far as I know, there's uh, there's no more seasons. I don't know if this is gonna end on a cliffhanger or this is gonna be a definitive end to this series. Um, yeah, so I guess I don't really know if it's a limited series or not, but, um, but I'm assuming it's gonna be the end. So I just don't really see this ending on a good note. So. Um, but I'm looking forward to see what happens though. I hope nothing happens to Rebecca. Uh, I do care for David too. I do care for, I care for everybody that all of our good guys are left over except for Kiwi. She can go fuck herself. But anyway, um, guys feel free to check out my Patreon. We're a few episodes ahead of YouTube and we do have a discord server. Uh, feel free to jump on that and, uh, feel free to, um, like comment and subscribe. So we're going to go ahead and dive on into this. If he needs five, I'll buy him five. I keep forgetting the this guy's name that drives the car, but he's pretty OP too. He's a pretty great asset. <laughs> Again, the car physics are just insane. I feel like he is gonna die, though. I feel like everybody's gonna die. Quite the promotion, wouldn't you say? Unheard of, really. <laughs> Yet even this leap, I consider only a single step in my ascent. Not Interesting how he's kind of ended up becoming like the main villain. Back up. Meet me at the drop point. You'll get your cut then. Besides, I'd hope to see you one last time. We owe ourselves <laughs> that much. How yep. Sweet of you. you need to get your hands dirty. If you're gonna be fucking people over like that. And I hope Rebecca fucking meets up with you. Oh. Back in simpler days. Oh my god. By the time you hit the last vial, understand this. Whatever's still left of you, Davy. We'll slingshot the other way. <laughs> Here we go. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. Yep, that'll do it. You have to work hard and rise through the ranks. My son at Arasaka Tower, top floor. I can just see it. You've got this, D. Nah. Do my best. You got my word. Arasaka all the way to the top. <sighs> all right, David. Let's go to the top. Then. Look at that. Re Rebecca's the the ride or die. Even in that kind of shape. Gotta get him to Lucy. Lucy? She's the only one who can maybe bring him back. And there's no one else. Mm. That's also sad to hear, cause I feel like. We know that Rebecca cares for David. It's a shame. My contract stipulates I get rid of anyone who knows about the cyber skeleton. <sighs> Can Kiwi redeem herself in any way? <laughs> oh my god. Rebecca is the best. Pending our field tests, the cyber skeleton was originally designated for him. So if he can't use his new tool, isn't he in the game? <laughs> He's like reliving the episodes. Got you too, did he? Yep. Did tag his AV though. Sending you quartz. I mean, that's like the the minimum she can do. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. It's a child's toy reliant on anti grav trading wheels. Not even worth my time. It's 
probably some bad dude. The only thing I remember from from him, assuming he was the same person that was in the game, was uh, he just like walked by and he like talked shit to you and whatever. That's the only thing I ever experienced with him. Well, here we go. That was the last of it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> He's just gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Go on, kill the boy. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, he's moving around like crazy too. Was I supposed to get emotional right there? Because I, I feel emotional right now with this. Besides you, I got nothing left. But you still have a dream to stick around for. Need you to see it through. I didn't think I would That's care this dream. much about Honestly, nothing else this particular relationship. Because I'm kind of like, I'm more of a Rebecca fan. But, but they did a really good job at making me care. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh my god. That's amazing. It <laughs> makes sense that more than two eyes came out of that. Glad you're back safe. For David's sake, I mean. Yeah. We're having a in here. Oh no. No. Really? That's how that has to happen. Oh my god. They really had to take Rebecca from me like that. Jeez. None leave the slaughterhouse. Not alive. Get distracted much. Getting a special customer scrappy. Oh my god. Make me laugh. Holy shit. How the f how are they supposed to beat him? No can do. Was David's final request. If I turn around now, he dies for nothing. Sorry. Wish we could go to the moon together. Oh uh, man, I think I think I get why people were crying at this. Like it, it's pretty telegraphed that he was gonna die. I mean, he's not dead yet, so I don't know for sure yet. But you know, you could prove an interesting construct. Oh well. Man, man, Adam Smasher really is a bad motherfucker, huh? Man, I am so bummed about Rebecca, though. I can't believe that's how she went. Just so fast. Uh, she made it to the moon. Oh man, yeah, that's really sad. Is that how it ends? Well, that's it. Um, it was a good ending. 
it, it would, it's a good ending and obviously you would want more for the characters and stuff like that. I'm glad we got some survivors in the group. I didn't expect it to be who it was. I expected Lucy to get out. I feel like if any if anybody had plot armor, it would have been her. Um, I didn't think the driver would have gotten out of there alive. Uh, I definitely felt like Rebecca was not going to get out alive. But I just didn't think that that would be the way she would go. I figured it'd be like a... I figured it'd be like that kind of trope where she like sacrifices herself for Lucy or just in a way that you wouldn't expect her to have done it. And, um, but I guess in a, in, in a way she did kind of sacrifice herself cause she was there to, to back them up and all that stuff. Th then again, you know, if, if you're going to go out like a badass, that would have been one way to go is to by getting killed by Adam Smasher. But it, it was actually surprising that, um, that we really were completely outgunned by him. Like it, it was a complete, like there was no way to, to beat him kind of thing, even with, you know, that that new skeleton that he had, which they were talking up huge in that that previous episode. It's like, yo, yeah, this is this most secret thing and this, this and that, bleeding edge, this. And it still didn't matter. I honestly didn't even know that going to the moon was an option until like the last couple episodes, maybe. So it's cool that Lucy made it to the moon, but it sucks that she's there by herself. <laughs> you, usually like in these shows, you, you can like look back and kind of think about it's like well what what was the show trying to like tell you i can think of like a couple of things but like i don't know if that was like the direct thing that the show was trying to communicate you can have all the money you want you know but if you have nothing to share it with or no one to share it with it kind of it's kind of useless so that's one thing but i kind of don't feel like that would be like what the show is trying to say yeah they get money and they probably want to have a good life while doing it sure I mean, they did make it a focus that they were doing stuff for money, but at the same time, it didn't seem like that was really like what they were in love with, you know? I, I would have liked better for Rebecca though, just a little better. That part's sad, and it, but it was interesting that I, you know, even though I was expecting her to go, I was thinking that that was gonna be where I was gonna get emotional. And the part that I did get emotional was with David and Lucy. I did not expect that because I kind of felt like, it's like, yeah, they're, they're a cool couple and all that stuff, but I kind of, again, I'm more of a Rebecca fan. I'd be cool if David got with Rebecca, but I also knew that that was not in the cards either. So I was kind of like, well, I'm not going to get that. So I'm kind of over that. Just give me, give me a safe Rebecca. They did a really good job at making me care about David and, and Lucy. Cause I, I, w I was rooting for them in the beginning, but then, you know, there were certain anime trips that get in there and, and, and now the girl is. Now that now they're distant, they're being they're both being distant and they're doing their thing and so then the couple becomes less attractive, you know, in that sense. It's like, well, the couple's only cool if it's an attractive couple and not necessarily in, in a physical aspect, but just personality wise, and it's like, wow, that'd be cool to have that kind of relationship. And uh and then it became like not as cool in that way. So that's why I kinda like fell out of love with them and now when they got back together like that, it gave you a sense of like what that third episode was. So it made me fall in love with them again. And then I think, and then it like, you know, it does a little montage of all the good times we had and how it's never gonna happen again. And all these people that were with us and now they're gone. And it, it, it hits you in the feels. So they, they did a good job with that. Glad I checked this out. It was a nice little short little run. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoy the reaction. Feel free to let me know if there's anything else out there you want me to check out. Um, and I'll see you next time.